Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. Okay, today it is the 31st of December, 2023. So I'm gonna get one last run in for the year and I'm taking the Vibram Five Fingers out. Weather's a little bit questionable, so I uh, like running in these when it's really wet because the drainage is just so good. Come along with me and see how we get on. I'm gonna be discussing my highlights from 2023 and also what my plans are for 2024. So yeah, come along with me. Okay, so there we go, last run of 2023. Oh, what a lovely morning for a run. Mildly moist underfoot, and the river was raging as per might do the test runs scale of how wet it's been. So, yeah, nice. Clocked up about 8k, around about five miles in the Fibre and Five Finger V run. Really enjoying these shoes, but oh, they've got a slight issue with them, so going to be doing a full review coming up on the channel soon of these long-term review i was hoping to wear these for the london marathon which brings me nicely on to what achievements i had in 2023 things that i did running wise that i'm really really pleased with i did a 10k in january that was a nice nice run started off very cautiously because i was getting over an injury and i managed to finish really really strong so that was fantastic and that led me on to a half marathon that i did in february that was good I had a flying finish on that one really really pleased with the results of that one did that in the uh fiber and five finger v run as well that was a lovely run really enjoyed that went on from there to do the london marathon in april didn't have such a good run on that one <laughs> I didn't do it in barefoot shoes, that's the problem. I think that's where I went wrong. <laughs> Obviously, nothing else came into it at all. And then the highlight of the year for me was in May, I did the Shires and Spires Ultra Marathon. About 36 miles, I think, 35 miles, 56K with trail running fill. So that was definitely the highlight of my year. I really, really, really enjoyed that. And it was so nice to run that kind of distance with someone. And yeah, it was just absolutely brilliant. So signed up for that one this coming year as well, 2024. So yeah, happy day is gonna be doing that in May with trail running Phil again and Mark G, the test run. Wow, Mark Grant on the, on the case. <laughs> so that's gonna be uh, fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that. I haven't signed up to anything else uh, for this coming year yet. I've had a bit of a break from running, um, one way or another, and uh, I'll discuss that a little bit more in up and coming videos. But yes, had a lovely 2023, really looking forward to 2024. So if you're interested in the barefoot shoes and barefoot running, then please give this video a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all the subscribers anybody who's watched and liked the videos really really appreciate it i'd love to be able to uh, recall all the people who comment regularly on my videos um and give you a shout out but unfortunately i'm getting to that age where my memory is not that good but i would like to say just a special thank you to mark for commenting on the videos todd in america Good morning. Fantastic, thank you very much. And also TJ, uh, Phil, and uh, oh, I, honestly, there's too many to mention, but I really, really appreciate you guys. And I love having you along, and I love the interest that you have, similar to mine. And yeah, just wishing you all, honestly, the very best in 2024. <laughs>